Hi, welcome to this week's Ask Charlie. I am in Petworth and I'm about to pop into one of my favourite, favourite shops. It's pre-loved and I've spotted a skirt in there which I think is absolutely fabulous. I have gone away and I've thought about it because it's quite a lot of money, it's an investment piece, but I think it will work with so many different things and I think it's something that will be in my wardrobe for years and years to come. So I thought I'd take you in there with me and then we could take it home. I could style it up with a few different things and um, see what you all think and hope you love it as much as I do. Let's go and find this skirt. Might have to have a little, little flick through the rails. But I just love the way Anne styles this shop. Evening wear, gorgeous window, and then, you know, different pieces. It's not too much, you're not overfaced, but there's always something amazing. I mean, look at those shoes. And everything's in really good condition. And that's why I love pre loved. That's going to be too big for me, but that's gorgeous. Um, because actually, it's just lovely to give an item of clothing another lease of life you don't need to spend a fortune you can dress things up you can buy investment pieces you can have fun with your clothes and your wardrobe i mean look at that that's a really fun handbag it's not me but it's really fun anyway 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 oh that is beautiful absolutely classic gorgeous handbag so I'm back home having been to see Anne and pick up the skirt. I couldn't film any more in the shop because suddenly loads of people came in. It was a bit awkward. I couldn't really say sorry, I'm just filming. Could you go out? Um, so anyway, I'm here with it. This is my only piece of Gucci clothing that I have in my wardrobe. It is an investment piece. It's pre-loved. So you know, it was a lot, a lot less than it would have been if it had been new. It is in perfect condition. And let me show you. Here it is. It's just gorgeous. I absolutely love the colour. It is in absolutely pristine condition and I am going to um, to try it with a few different things. So I've got out everything that I think it will work with and we're going to have a try on and we're going to have a bit of a play and I'm thinking that this is going to be, as I said earlier, in my wardrobe for years to come. It fits really well. There is a little bit of room for expansion as well. But I think I can wear it out for dinner. So I'm actually thinking Valentine's Day. I could wear it to church. I could wear it for Christmas. I could wear it to the theatre. I could wear it to all sorts of different places. And that's what I want out of something that um, is an investment piece. I want it to be really versatile. I want it to work with lots of different things. So anyway enough waffling I am going to try it on and have a play with you. So this is the first look probably the most casual it is um it's quite high-waisted I just absolutely love the shape and the feel of it and yeah I just threw on this black cashmere roll neck and I think because it's high-waisted I can either kind of pull it down and have that sort of look or I can just turn it inside out like that. I've just teamed it with black tights and then these are black LK Bennett shoes. They're really comfortable and just easy to wear. I love these LK Bennett shoes. They come in different heel heights. These are kind of probably the most sensible and I can walk and you know this would be something if I was going to London or to church or something like that. Just kind of comfy, easy, I feel great and yeah, love, love this option. So let's try on a few other. Things. 
I have just put this little Kenzo jacket on with this outfit just to see what it would look like. I feel like this jacket's really um, Diane Keating, kind of from, um, was it the 80s or something? Yeah, I, I can't even remember when, the late 80s, early 90s, but I do feel very Diane Keating in this. But it just kind of elevates it, putting on a smart jacket, you know, just makes the outfit look a little bit smarter and you know this isn't a casual skirt I'm not going to wear it for um for cooking and going about my day it's for an occasion and it's nice to dress up I think we haven't dressed up for such a long time it feels quite bizarre anyway I'm going to try it on I've got a little black jacket I'm going to try it on with now Okay, so this has just come out of a storage bag in the attic. Um, obviously, we haven't gone anywhere for such a long time that I just put it up in the attic, but it's a little Karen Millen jacket and I've had it for years and years and years, but it's really kind of versatile, it's really useful and I just love the detailing on it. And again, I think that gives it more of an evening look. I've got a little... Um, little black bag here this is a Ferragamo bag and just I think yeah elevates it looks really smart really sophisticated and I feel great in this look and I still got my kind of casual um, black polo neck on okay so I have changed my tights to nude um, skin coloured ones. I still got the black shoes on. I have got some black knee high boots here, which again, I think I could also wear it with those. I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous silk shirt, which I have had in my wardrobe for years. It's probably one of my favourite pieces. Obviously, it doesn't get worn very often because it's quite formal but I love it and I think it works really well with this skirt. So I think the colours that I'm going to be wearing with this are creams and black and grey. That's, that's the sort of colour tone. I've just got this wrap which I think could also work really well with it. And I've changed my necklace. So this necklace is from Corin Buchanan and it's just little gold beads which I think looks really lovely with it. Um, because of this sort of cream, it's a warm skin tone. I think it's better than the necklace that I wear. <laughs> My kind of signature necklace, this is platinum. And I think the rose gold works well with it. But I also have got another option. So my pearls, these were my grandmother's and they are probably one of my favorite, favorite pieces. My other necklace was my grandmother's too. Um, and I get so many questions about it. But I also think the pearls looks really, really pretty with them. And again, that just makes it even more formal, but for some smart occasion, why not? There's no point in having beautiful things if you're not gonna wear them. So I think that looks, you know, really, really lovely. It's probably more of a day look with, um, with the skin colour tights, I think. Let me just show you again. Um, I think this is a more formal day, whereas actually the black polo neck, it's more evening, but I would probably wear, let me show you, let me get it. So this is just a little silk um, vest from LK Bennett. Again, I've had it for years. It's one of those pieces that's really versatile and I think this would work really well as well with one of the jackets if you didn't want to wear a big cashmere roll neck. I've also got a cream one here. So again, that could look really, really kind of pretty and just easy. But again, more for the day, I think black in the evening, if you're going to something formal would, um, and wearing a skirt formal rather than a dress formal, you know, because a dress obviously is, dressier so maybe you would wear this for dinner for the theatre for um 
a lecture, a talk, an art exhibition, something like that, where you don't want to be too over the top wearing a dress, but you still want to look smart. And you could wear this to the office if you, you know, worked somewhere smart. So hopefully that has given you lots and lots of ideas. So I wanted to show you how one investment piece it can take you to lots of different occasions, lots of different things. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. You know, obviously this is more than autumn, winter. You could wear it going into spring, particularly on a chilly day. Um, it would look lovely. And again, with a cream top is and new tights makes it more spring-like. Anyway, what do you think? What do you think of it? What is your favourite look? Will you let me know in the comments below? I love um, kind of hearing your thoughts as well on it but I went and I saw it and I thought about it and I said to Anne could you just hold it for me for a couple of days I just want to think about it and think about what I can wear it with and I think that's the lovely thing about shopping at pre-loved and kind of getting to know them and you know I've known Anne for quite a few years and she knew that I just wanted to think about it and mull it over before taking the plunge and buying it. But I went to bed thinking about it and I woke up thinking about it. I know that might sound really stupid, but when there's an item of clothing that I think would be really useful, I do think about it. And I, do, I don't want to have things in my wardrobe that I'm not going to wear. You know, obviously I'm not going to wear it all the time, but this is going to be in my wardrobe for years, as will this. And this was pre-loved. Oh my goodness, I think I bought it about 12 years ago. It's Italian, it's cream, it didn't cost um, the earth, but I absolutely love it and I will wear it for years to come. So think carefully about the things that are in your wardrobe and whether you really kind of love them, whether they're working for you. I think because, well I don't think, but because, I know, because of COVID, I shouldn't say that word, I know. Um, but the last couple of years, we haven't been out. And so there are a lot of things in my wardrobe that I haven't worn. So I'm not having what I would call a normal sort out at the moment. So normally if there are things in my wardrobe that I haven't worn for at least a year, a couple of years, then I know that it's time for them to go um, either to sell, you know, at one of the pre-love shops or to go to a charity shop. But at the moment, I've been living in jeans and polo necks and jeans and shirts and, you know, that sort of thing. We haven't been going anywhere. So I'm not having a normal wardrobe sort out. But, you know, things just don't bring you joy. If you know in your heart of hearts that you're not going to wear it, that you don't love it, then get rid of it. I adore this skirt. I am so pleased with it. I love the length. I love, I don't normally like high-waisted, but I think on this occasion it works really well. And I know that I'm going to get so much wear out of this. I'm already thinking of the occasions that I can wear it. The first one is going to be um, Valentine's Day. We're supposed to be going to the theatre. Um, so Simon and I have this thing that we don't like to go out for dinner on Valentine's Day. And you, it all seems a bit kind of false and a bit staged. <laughs> this, you know, red rose on the table. But we like to go to... Um, the theatre or a musical or something like that that we can really enjoy and not necessarily I mean never actually on Valentine's Day itself but around that time and it's something that we've done ever since we've been together so we've seen all sorts of wonderful things and I think it's this is going to have its first outing um, as long as it all goes ahead we've already had to reschedule twice fingers crossed it happens but let me know in the comments below what you think of this look or with the black, with the wrap or the jackets. Which jacket do you prefer, the grey one or the black one? Am I right in thinking it's Diane Keating or am I completely way off? I am ready to go to London. I am so, so excited. I'm wearing the long boots and I've just got the short sleeve because I don't want to get too hot, but I've got this jacket. I'm so pleased with this skirt. I'm really thrilled. Simon hasn't seen it yet. And actually I've got to get the train because he has got a meeting in London. 
but I thought to keep cozy on the train and if it gets chilly later I can wrap up in this so I'm taking this with me and then I'm taking this handbag because I'm going on the train I want to be able to put various bits and pieces in it so this Gucci handbag Simon bought for me when I was pregnant with Coco and uh, on a recent video I think it was us talking about Christmas and I was asked what was my sort of best ever present it would be this I mean a good handbag just lasts forever and I can get enough bits and pieces in there and yeah I am ready to go my hair's a bit of a mess but I'm going to titivate that later and I haven't bothered with lippy because I'm going to be wearing a face mask so we don't need that and I've just kept jewellery really simple and yes so we are going to the Kit Kat Club to see Cabaret with Eddie Redmayne so this is like our Valentine's treat it's something we started when we first got together and rather than kind of sitting around a table being cheesy we both love the theatre musicals um, that sort of thing the ballet the opera and so every year but obviously we haven't been able to go for a while um, we we do this and these tickets actually we've had to transfer because of covid so it's all been a bit stressful so i didn't know if we were actually going but we are so um yes i am super super excited about it and it's just going to be lovely to have a little bit of time just simon and i i think it's so important as couples that you actually make time for one another when you've got a family and you've got children and a busy life you can forget about having time just for the two of you and it is super super important so i am really looking forward to that i've just got a few more bits to put in my handbag before i leave <music> on the underground so I decided to jump in a cab which is really lazy of me but it's not very far and I thought um, rather than Simon trying to pick me up at Victoria I'd just meet him at Stone Square it's much easier but somebody asked me about my nails yesterday and I thought I'd just chat a little bit about them so I paint them myself haven't had a manicure for years actually I am booked in for a pedicure on Wednesday afternoon which I cannot wait for but I paint my nails pretty much once a week, occasionally twice a week, and I use Essie Gel Couture. And in the description of this video, I will link to a YouTube video showing how I do my nails. I get so many questions about them. They're not particularly long at the moment. They've had a bit of flattering, but I did paint them last night. And um, the shade I'm wearing is, I'm sure it's called Baubles Only, but again, I'll link that in this description. But I wear gloves for washing up. Um, for all kind of dirty, yucky jobs, I put gloves on. Uh, for mucking out the ponies, I wear gloves. I wear gloves for gardening. I wear gloves for riding. Um, so that's how I keep them looking good. And I pretty much only have to do them once a week. Normally by, uh, and it's normally on a Sunday night. And on a Sunday night, I do the children's, um, children have a hair wash and I cut their nails, everybody lines up on the bed. <laughs> I do everybody's nails on a Sunday night. And then I go downstairs and do my own and watch a little bit of TV, normally have a glass of wine, or something like that, and just pamper myself. It's my sort of Sunday night ritual. I like, I like my nails looking good and presentable. I think it's horrid kind of having chippy nails. And actually I find mine look a lot better when I've got nail, nail varnish on them. So I like to keep them looking as good as I possibly can. So gloves, that is the way forward, girls. The funniest thing has just happened. So I was changing his shoes to put his sort of smarter suede shoes on and he was struggling because he doesn't have, a sh doesn't have a shoe horn in the car. So I crouched down to try and assist him putting on his shoes kept treading on my fingers, so I was making all sorts of noises, crouched down in the boot of his car. 
and this man was getting in the car in front of me to do what an earth we were up to. And he just keeps, this man in the car, he's sitting there for about five minutes, he keeps giggling at Simon and I. He thought there was something really naughty going on. Whereas really, I was just trying to assist my husband with his shoes. mesmerizing, bewitching, incredible. His performance is unbelievable. I mean, the whole, all of the actors are incredible, but he's in such a different league. He hasn't missed one show, matinee and then evening performance. I don't know how long for, quite a long time. Yeah, it runs through, I think we came to the 21st of March, so. It started and in December. It started in December. We were supposed to go at the beginning of December. It's just so, so incredible. If you get the opportunity to go and see it, it's amazing. Yeah, incredible. So we're just getting a taxi back to the car and then we're heading back to Sussex. I think you're probably going to put Radio 4 on and I'm going to go to sleep pretty quickly um, because it feels like it's been a long day had um, a couple of glasses of champagne which was quite a treat and a very very special valentine's because this is like our valentine tradition isn't it darling yeah it is. how long yeah. have we been doing it 15 years <laughs> thank you for joining me i hope that you've enjoyed it and wishing you a great weekend a great week ahead sending much love and i will see you again very soon